Last half thought we went top to bottom and we followed the short arm bar from the short arm bar. We did the kick over from the kick over. You went to the arm bar from the arm bar. You crossed the feet and then you learn how to you know, double, triple, wrap the thumb, kick that thing out, right? Cross by the arm bar. So both of them. All right, Jeff. Uh, the hell Now the key, uh, his leverage on the arm bar, he needs, he needs right forearm to break this apart. Uh, he's going to lean, I think more of go ahead and lean back. Him attacking the forearm is what's giving him the leverage to do this. Does this make sense? The closer I get to here, he slides to my wrist, the easier this gets to be. He slides to the middle of my forearm. Pull. Yeah, that's tough. He gets to the crook of my arm. Okay, I'm able to last a little longer. If I feed him up into the bicep, I can last even longer. That makes sense. We understand most of my def uh, offensive uh, positioning for him is going to be from uh, all along uh, the forearm to the wrist and the hand. With me? Mm -hmm. All right. So we know once we get up to uh, the humerus, he's got less, I've got more time to live. It doesn't mean we're hanging out here. So we know I want to feed him less of this, more of this. So anytime I'm doing a catch grip, it's not just here. A catch grip is I want to get to my heart. So I'm feeding him primarily elbow or upper arm. Make sense? With me so far? Mm -hmm. The other thing where I'm feeding him more arm is I'm going to uh, pop my hips and turn away from him a little bit, meaning this, which gives him even more of that uh, 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 that bad positioning, well, so-called bad positioning with it. And also, once I'm here, I want to get even more elevation to do so. I'm trying to get all the way on my side. Okay. You with me on that? Yeah. All right, so far, so good. Once we're on the side, we know he's feeding. Pull against that, please, Ricky. All right, he's fighting against that, all right? Release just a tiny bit. I want on my side because I wanted this elevation. Once I have here, my ear that's against his head, I'm going to lift a little bit. This will release. Come to here. Figure four in the hands. So it's here. Even if Ricky's pulling him, pull Ricky, I'm here. Once I have this, wow. let's walk that out. Make sense? The main aspect of that is to keep in mind what we don't want. We don't want to feed him any portion of this. We want this. So the visible Ricky against this arm is I want to think. To the chest, pop up, keep popping where I get this elevation, put my ear on his leg and lift a little bit so this bottom hand can post on that leg. Now figure four. Once I've got that, you're lifting, moving through. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah? All right, let's try that. <laughs> 